So here we are making yummy icings, yummy frostings, because cake is just cake without icing, but mm -hmm. with icing it's just spectacular. Ma marvelous, spectacular. It's awesome. And so mine is quick and easy, right? And but she's going last today. I know. <laughs> because I'm going to go first because the last should be first and the first should be last and I'm always... But I'm yours last. is longer but I think it's worth it. A lot of people are going to make yours. It's completely dairy free. It's super free. foodie. It's super foodie. It's incredibly um, versatile because it's dairy free. So any of you that have dairy allergies and it's lighter yeah. than yours. So what you, do, you can pile it on more heavy and high. And what's the name of it? Um, what do we call it? Awesome Whip. Because it just goes on Because anything. it's cooler than cool. But I'm not going to pull it's yours awesome. up too much because mine needs some glory. Okay, we just have one cup of unsweetened almond milk we've put in the blender. Then we're going to make a bloom. It's very spectacular. Okay. A bloom? We're yes. We're going to bloom our gelatin. Oh. We're going to put a tablespoon of grass-fed gelatin. Bam. <coughs> Super food. It heals your guts. It heals your intestines. And it's, it's so it amazing for you. Incredible it, it, well, it's great acids. for your bones. Oh yes, it's great collagen. It's collagen. It's great for your skin. It's a beauty food. A tablespoon of grass-fed gelatin, and we're going to stick a little regular water to bloom it, like just lukewarm, not cold, not hot, and we're just going to let it. What does bloom actually mean? Like what happens? It just, it's what they call it when you put gelatin in with a little bit of um, water before. You let it bloom. Oh yeah. So you dissolve it before you put your hot water. So we have one, one cup of That's hot right. water. Pour it all over and your in cake. this, yes, and in this bloom gelatin. Look at the intelligence in this. You put your coconut oil and it melts. Oh, it melts. You're smart. And how long did it, it take with you to come up with this recipe? I mean, oh, how many times did it you just, try? It just was a. I'd like to say it was just a spark. <laughs> Actually, it was it was two times. I made it the first time, loved it and raved it, and then the next time I tried to repeat that, it failed and flopped and was awful. But this here is a resurrected recipe. Yeah. Okay, and I love it. So we melt that and we just let it sit there for a few seconds to get all melted. And we're going to add three teaspoons of sweet blend or dunk to your taste. But this is this is three pinches of sea salt, which is about half a teaspoon of sea salt, and Three teaspoons of sweet And if blend. you're going to dunk stevia, it would be about three dunks. Same. All right. And then we're going to go put half a teaspoon of glunky. Glunky. <laughs> glunky. glunky. That's Could fun. they use xanthan if they wanted? They could use xanthan okay. if they wanted. Okay. And then what are we going to do? We're going to pour this in. Is this basically it? This is it. And then we're going to do three squirts of vanilla. It's got to be vanilla-ish. One, two, three. That's probably like three I could teaspoons. do this. You could. This is so purist. Turn it on. There we go. Oh. Now, just because I just didn't want to blend, 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 blend in front of you, um, you would probably blend it longer at home for about a minute. And then, this is just so full of superfood. I mean, I know that we say we love me some butter here at Trim Healthy Mama. That's but what the extra virgin coconut oil that I put in, and it wasn't even very too much. Did I tell you how no, much I put in? No, it was good. Four tablespoons, and I made them good tablespoons. But can you get us to the end of your recipe? Yes, we blended it, okay? We're going to blend it for, for like a minute. Then you just stick it in your fridge, and you let it set. And then when it's set, you go like this, and it doesn't move. How long does it take to set? If you put it in your freezer, and, and then put it in your fridge, like let the warmness of that yeah. boiling water kind of get chilled quicker. I'd say a couple of hours, but I make it at lunch and it's ready to serve right. for dessert in the okay. evening. And then it's ready all week, okay? So then when we take it out of the fridge, we just re-whip it in the blender and then pour it on our oh. cake. However, if you want to add more protein, yeah. if you want to add more protein to it, and um, it kind of just whips a little more air into it, it's so optional. I love it without. Sometimes if I want a dairy-free meal and um, I want that bit of protein, I will put this in too. Okay, so <laughs> say it's set. So one scoop whey protein. This is once it's set. You do this once it's set and you're re-blending. Brilliant. Okay, and then you the, it would be set and then so you'd be pouring be. it all over and then we're going to ice our cake. Oh my goodness, it has a little bit of a pudding feel. 
but it is so, and I love that about it, it's so yes. Moorish. It's like whipped marshmallows. It does not have a gooky jello feel. It is so divine. And any one of you who has allergies, like I said, you can have whipped cream again. This is going to be your go to. So you whipped top cream. it muffins. But you can top it pile, pile hey, it on even heavy. that French toast. Yeah. Yes. You know, and if you wanted to do it more fuel poolish, you could just lower the coconut oil. Okay. You could. All right. Well, while you're making that, well, this is frosting so divine. That. That's your cinnamon agent cake right there. Cinnamon yes, secret is. agent cake. I'm just going to do mine. And mine is so easy. Okay, I've got one stick and one quarter of butter in here. That's five ounces. And I've got two ounces of unsweetened chocolate. You know, you just buy it. It's Baker's Squares. It's got no sugar whatsoever in it. And you melt mm -hmm. it. I mm -hmm. use the microwave when I'm You're not going to give this to anybody else. You can use a double boiler if you're... Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Yeah. You do this if the camera wasn't on you, I'm just being authentic. Well, okay, but you're sort of putting me off what I'm doing. It's hard when you're slurping on a spatula next to me. Then, um, we've got about five teaspoons, because I like this very, very sweet, of ground sweet blend. Grind it in your coffee ground, it makes mm -hmm. all the difference. Wow. And then I'm doing mocha, because I made a, a mocha special agent mm. cake. So I'm wanting... Double mocha, so coffee extract, or you can just use instant coffee grounds. You could probably find a, a Frontier Herbs coffee extract. Yeah, you could, but this is pure. It says pure. Mm. So I'm on your side. You could even grind some espresso beans. About three teaspoons. And put Two them to three. I like it coffee-ish. Mm. You could add coffee to mine too. I'm feeling left you out. You could. I know, because the coffee's good, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And make sure these are locked in. Right. Okay, and then you just beat with your electric beater. Should I help you? You shall. And, and, and you should use a bigger bowl. I thought, I thought you said that, that yours was more simple than mine. It is. You just need a bigger bowl. Sorry. And the ground, you know the ground sweet blend, it, it likes to puff. It's all good. Look. I know, that is beautiful. It's done. That is beautiful. Tell me how easy that was. Can I get the stick? Yes. In but my home, we always fight over who gets the stick. You know, this one That's it. I want to show. I want to show our mamas. How do I get it? Oh, you just don't, don't mess with her. It doesn't like people. Look, look. Mmm. Mmm. Look and at the velvet. Again, when you ice mm. your cake. Oh, I love it with the coffee. Put mm. it in the fridge because I'm telling you. This stuff, after it's refrigerated for a good few hours, especially overnight. Is it better, is it? It's so much better. Mm. You wake up for breakfast to this, I mean, your day is made. Mm. This mm. is chocolate cake for breakfast. We yes. weren't lying when we said that. No. Whoever thought we were lying, we weren't. <laughs> Whoever thought, I don't know. Maybe someone out there thought we were lying. I was thinking of a punishment. But we know that. who you are. <laughs> we're being very truthful. Okay. Are we like allowed to taste though right now? Because it's like cutting into a yes. perfect cake. Yes, but where's my cutting? I'm sick of cutting with spoons at your house. <laughs> I have a button though. Are you tasting mine? Or are tasting you tasting mine? Oh, are you going to get chocolate all over it? Oh no, not on my cheese. Oh my goodness. It's a habit. <laughs> I'm just going to spoon it in. Okay. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm having this for breakfast, my mom. We are just got, we're so dainty, right? I love that, but I want to taste yours. Mm -hmm. You probably don't want your teenage girls to go to our finishing school. It's Freedom Pearl's finishing school. Mm -hmm. We could do it. If you like the video, subscribe or smash the like button. Or if you want the recipe, it's in the description and the products are in the description too. Down below. Yeah, not thumbs down, down. <laughs>